Sometimes we have many collections of things and we want to figure out all the different things that are in all our collections. The set operation that helps us with this is called union. The symbol we use to represent union is an upward U. So if you have any two sets, let's say set A and set B, and these sets could have any elements that you want. The union of these two sets, which is written A, U, B, is a set consisting of all those elements that are either in set A or in set B. Meaning if an element is in either of the sets, then it is in the union. Let's look at an example. Let's say our set A has in it the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And our set B has in it the numbers 3, 4, 6, and 8. Then the union of these sets is a set consisting of all the numbers that appear in either set. So we're asking what elements appear in set A or B because if any element appears in the sets we're taking the union of then they're going to appear in the union. Well 1 appears in one of our sets so it's going to be in the union. 2 is in one of our sets so 2 is going to be in the union. 3, 4, 6, and 8 are going to be in our union. But notice one thing. 3 and 4 appear in set A and 3 or 4 appear in set B. But we do not repeat them in our union. Why? For each element in our union we can ask does 1 appear in our set A or B? If yes, it's going to appear in the union. Does 2 appear in either set A or set B? Well, it appears in A, so it's going to be in the union. Does 3 appear in either set A or B? If yes, it's going to appear in the union, and so on. So we don't need to repeat the elements. And either way, with the union, we're interested in what different elements we have in, in our sets. Why don't we look at this using Venn diagrams? This circle here represents set A. This circle here represents set B. In set A, we have the elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 goes here, 2 goes here, we notice that 3 and 4 appear in both sets A and B. So these go in the middle. And the elements that are only in set B are 6 and 8. So they go in this area. The union, again look back up here. Union is a set of all x such that x is an element of A or x is an element of B. So the union is going to have all the things that are in A and all the things that are in B. So this yellow area represents our union. Well, what are the numbers or elements you see in the yellow area? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. And that was our union. So again, because of the way we listed the common elements, we don't need to repeat them. We're only interested in all the different elements that appear in our sets. How about a few more examples? I form a set P and this is a set whose elements are the letters L, M, N, and O. 
and I'm going to form another set called Q and the elements of this set are the letters A, B, C, D, E and M and another set R and this is an empty set meaning it has no elements in it. We want to find the union of P and Q so P union Q well the union has in it all those elements that appear in either set so P union Q is going to have all the elements that appear in either P or Q and we don't need to repeat any elements so what appears in P and Q L M N O A B C D E and Wait, we already said M, so M is already there. Let's now also find the union of set Q and set R. So Q union R is going to be a set consisting of all those elements that appear in either set Q or set R. But we notice that set R is empty, it does not have any elements in it but set Q is not empty, it has some elements. So if any element appears in either of these sets, it's automatically going to be in our union. So Q has elements A, B, C, D, E, and M in it. And all those elements are going into our union.